Hi-Fi Music TV, my name is Daz, you can follow me on Twitter on Darren underscore JVAUS. Ladies and gentlemen, we're back and today we're with a very, very special guest, a young Newcastle girl, all the way from, it was been in Nashville, and now back in Newcastle, here at Glendale, has just released her stunning new album, Bone Shaker. Catherine Britt, welcome Hi. to JB Hi-Fi. <laughs> Thanks for having me at JB Hi-Fi in the storeroom. Now, it's it. beautiful, isn't it? It's, it's lovely surroundings, yeah. yes, I, it is. Are you okay? <laughs> now, you, you worked for JB Hi-Fi. I did, yeah, yes. for a little time. Mm. Um, I never have done anything or stuck to anything for that long other than music. Yeah. I think I've lasted, probably the longest I've lasted in a job is about three months. Right. <laughs> and that was JB. Um, but no, I loved it. And I love JB. If I go out and buy stuff, I always go to JB, just so you know. <laughs> oh, good. Okay. Well, we know that, don't yeah, we? Yeah, yeah. Yes, if I'm we... looking for CDs and stuff, that's where I go. <laughs> we believe you. We yeah. do. Now, tell us about this album. It is a stunning album, I was saying. It Thank is. Thank you. It's a Great album. It's um, it's album number six. Is that right? Album number six. Yes, yes. I believe so. Um, yes. Yeah. Look, we we went over to Seattle, Washington, to record this record wow. um, with a producer by the name of Ryan Hadlock, mm -hmm. who's done like Lumineers, uh, Foo Fighters, yep. Strokes, uh, Brenny Carlisle, all that sort of stuff. That so a little bit different to yeah. what my other records were, but I wanted to try something a little different on this record, being album number six. Yep. And um, I mean, it's still very much my songs, you know, mm -hmm. I wrote everything on there. It all starts with me and my guitar, yeah. and then it's about what happens after, after that. that yeah. um, but you know, it's still very much me, but it's just a little bit, I guess, bigger than the other records I've done. Yeah. I think we had a lot more going on, sort of um, instrumentation-wise, which I really wanted to experiment with, yeah. um, and just sort of played a little bit in the studio, and it's just, I'm so, so proud of it. Good, you should out. be, so, you should be. Yeah, yeah. I'm stoked. No, because I've followed your career for a while, always, like, like I think I first saw you, you were at a, Gimpy Mustard, I think it was back in 2001 or oh, two. Wow. It was a long, long was time ago. Casey? With Casey, yeah. Yeah, wow. Yes. That was like, yeah, 2001. A long, long time ago, yeah, exactly. Yeah. But I, I've always have. And, um, but, uh, okay, tell us the, tri the, the time track Bone Shaker. What yes. is that about? Okay, yeah. A lot, of people, a lot of people ask me that because it doesn't, yeah, it's hard to sort of figure out. But, so I wrote with a guy um, by the name of Tony. Um, Tony, um, oh, what's his last name? I've just forgotten. Anyway, his name's Tony. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We uh, we wrote this song, um, Buchan, Tony Buchan. Buchan, Sorry, Tony, Tony Buchan. Um, and we we got together for the first time co-writing, and co-writing's always super awkward. Like yeah. it's not a fun sort of atmosphere. Even yeah. when you've written with him a few times, it's still a bit awkward. Yeah. So I got into the situation like a bit uncomfortable. But he start, we started talking. He said, oh, "I heard this crazy story on the radio on the way to the, the songwriting appointment," and he started telling me the story that. It was this true story that mm. this couple rode their bikes to and from work every day and at a certain point they'd go their separate ways and then in the afternoons they'd meet at that point and ride yeah. home together. Right. Lovely. Yes. Um, one afternoon he got there and she wasn't there. Right. So he waited and he waited and he you know, started to panic and got a phone call that she'd been hit by a car and she was in a coma. At the oh. hospital, yeah, it's pretty devastating. This so, is sad. I don't know, wait, wait, it gets better. <laughs> so, we like rushed to the hospital and um, got there, and they were saying, Look, it's not looking good. Like, she's most likely got some sort of brain damage, and you know, the likelihood of her waking up is, you know, the chances of this, this, yeah. and this, whatever. Um, so, of course, he was devastated and sat by her side the whole time. And oh. a few weeks passed, and he was getting sort of, you know, desperate. And just one day, just spent a moment alone with her in yeah. the room and just said, Look, if you can hear me at all if there's anything in there like i need you to just show me a yeah. sign that you're there like so we can wake you up like just please i'm begging just anything do anything tap your fingers yeah. anything yes when he said that 
I think because he gave her an actual task oh. of something to move, she tapped her fingers. Oh, wow. So he ran out and grabbed the nurses and they came in, they woke her up and she was, she recovered completely. Like she was wow. fully, fully recovered. And um, she heard everything they were saying the whole time, which apparently happens. Like she could hear what was going on in the in the hospital room and everything. Anyway, so I, I heard that story and I thought, wow, that's mm. a really cool twist on a love story. Like, because you hear love songs all the time. Yes. And I thought, oh, I just... That's just really qu like yeah. a really quirky no, love story it's and it, with a great ending. Yes. Um, but yeah, and then I actually looked up on my computer what um, like a cool name for bicycle because yeah. bicycle's not the greatest rhyme. No. Uh, so, <laughs> and I found that used to, yeah, 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 yeah. They used to be called bone shakers back ah. in the day because you know you'd be running like going along the, the, the rough roads and you'd be shaking your bone. Well, there so you go. Bone shakers. You so just you learned go. something from Catherine Brett. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Why the new album's called? My that. favorite song is "Good to Bad." Oh yeah, I really oh, like that track. Yeah, it, I. It love seems that got song a, a beautiful, too. like a, the melody's beautiful, and it's yeah. just a really a lovely track. Thank you. That's yeah, I, oh, I, I think I wrote that one after watching too much Breaking Bad. Oh really? Yeah. <laughs> <Which> <laughs> That'll do it to you. I actually. love that show, <laughs> yes. and I just yeah, I wrote that song because I've written songs about farmers before, yeah, yeah. like quirky songs, but I, I wrote that one about a drug farmer. Really. Um, <laughs> Well, a farmer that turns to growing crops and selling drugs yes. out of desperation. Yes. So, and talking about drug farmers, you got Steve Earle on the album. I do, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Joke, don't, know, don't know the connection there. But, <laughs> no. Um, but no, look, um, Steve bucket list oh, tits. Um, like, well done. No, I but know. I was going to say it's amazing because like, I've, yeah. I've loved the guy for so many years. Yeah, so, um, yeah. He's that's amazing. awesome to see him on an Australian album. Well. I know, yeah, it's true. Good. I don't know if that might be a first. I think it could Maybe. be actually. Yeah. I'm thinking about it. I think it could, it could be. Yeah. We'll, we'll just check with research. Is that right? <laughs> yes. Yes. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Well, once again, thank you for coming in to Jamie Hi-Fi Glendale tonight. Uh, we're going to see you perform very shortly. Yes. And we're very lucky, but we're going to film a little bit of it and show you on uh, there as well, out Yay. there in TV land. <laughs> but um, you can get this album at all JB Hi-Fi stores. You can buy it online on www.jbhifi.com.au or you can stream it on JB Now. But it's better to come and buy it because that's that's the best way to get it in your physical. hands and physical yeah. and the whole and bit. And it looks pretty cool. It's Thank you, Catherine, for coming in. It's Thank been an absolute you. pleasure meeting you. All the best with everyone in the future. And um, and we'll see you next time on JB Hi-Fi Music TV Shine On. <laughs>